morning ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel, and I know you're thinking that is your large coffee, what happened to the, the smaller ones, I can explain, obviously as you can tell I'm in work, although originally I had this day off, but because Martin's done his knee in, he can't get to him in the mornings now, so I'm on the earliest for the foreseeable, and I'm going to be training right after this this coaching block, so I'm going to have sort of all my caffeine now, there's not much time between this one and getting to the gym. I'm having the caffeine a little bit later, it's currently half eight, so I've left it an extra hour later as well, so forgive me on that one. Anyway, into the training yesterday's run intervals, four by ten hundred, four by ten hundred, that kill me. Running forty thousand meters. Ten by four hundred meters. Uh, it was better than usual on fresher legs, but not as good because I dropped off sooner because I've had no food in the system, I ran faster than normally I've had a few meals and whatnot beforehand. And in terms of high rocks, I think I've picked my competition for this year, or well, certainly the first one for this year, and that's gonna be High Rocks in Nice in October. Nice little bit of autumn sun. So I'm gonna get signed up for that this morning. Look at some hotels, maybe we could get an Airbnb and go over for a couple of days with Kelly. So that's going to be the my singles competition there, and there's yet to be a UK one announced very soon. So I'm going to go sign up for that one and do that with Adam with pairs, just the open with pairs. So that's competition sorted. I like having dates in mind to train for rather than just training for sort of whenever really. Speaking of training, today's going to be an upper body session again, nice and simple: bench, rows, dips, curls. Super simple. Yeah, effective. I was very sore after that session, but for now I'm gonna have this coffee, defrost, hug in the heater because it's freezing today. Although yesterday it was quite warm, today it's just gone freezing cold. It's rain, but there's no rain in sight. I'm gonna have some breakfast. Just add some boiling water to this to get me even more warmed up. Cover it with some honey. Coach, and then it'll be time to head over to Pure Gym. After last week talking about how I'm keeping things simple with my training, I thought this week I'd go over how I plan my progressions and how I keep things pretty simple in that regard too. For the main lifts, I prefer a much more linear progression, so that's adding weight or volume each week. Although when I was heavy into powerlifting, I was using an undulating periodization, which worked well as I was squatting and benching and deadlifting up to three times a week. Now for the main lifts, I prefer straight sets over one top set based on RPE with backoffs, because that gets me fixated on a number as I rarely focus on the RPE like I should and end up getting frustrated if I don't get near that number. So today's bench was five sets of six reps at 97.5 kilos which is two and a half kilos up on last week and if I fail to get these full sets each week I will use the same weight next week if I fail again I'll go again for the following week and if I fail that two weeks in a row keep the same weight but then I will lower the reps and sets going forward in the program or maybe deload on try again and thankfully despite the doms in my chest and shoulders and arms I managed to get all five sets pretty comfortably today. For my main accessory movements today being these dumbbell rows I like to progress slower and work within ranges so for example today is a new weight so I'm going for four sets of 10 and then next week I'll go for four sets of 12 so if I get two sets of 12 and two sets of 10 I'll go again the following week until I can get all four sets at 12 and then I will increase the weight but drop back down to that 10 and work my way up to the 12s again before increasing in weight. For the accessory to the accessory, so pretty much my isolation work. I like to progress it the same as accessory work, although the weight I choose largely depends on how fatigued those muscles are. So I'm not too concerned with the weight, but choosing one that has me reaching cl close to failure in that 10 to 15 rep range, so the weight can vary week to week. And that is pretty much how I plan my progressive overload in all of my lifts. Just keep things nice and simple and that's what seems to be working over the last couple of weeks, months and years really. I would always look to get as much as you can possible out of a simple progressive overload before I can get any other method of progression really. And this is one exercise that's probably never progressed in all my years of training. And at the minute with this dodgy shoulder I just pick whatever weight isn't too painful on the day and just rep out those. I kind of had this playing out a little bit differently than 
it is now rather than do a post workout talk scene in the car I was gonna try and make it a little bit more personal as just get a bit more personal in the vlogs kind of thing but kind of hasn't worked out that way right now I'm just outside Kelly's about to go in there for the evening as Wednesday is our evening together it's when, when I our schedules finally align on a weekend and a Wednesday night so I've got some treats and stuff in the bag got some food we're gonna go in and cook got some got a nice bottle of wine I was gonna get flowers but they had no good ones there just trying to be a nice boyfriend and get some extra brownie points she had a bit of a stressful January in work just in an order which she smashed so kind of a mini celebration slash stress relief so I'm gonna go in there and enjoy that chest and bicep dumbs already kicking in from the earlier session which is kind of a nice feeling kind of not but yeah tomorrow's going to be a threshold run in the rain if you can hear that and then friday we are back to pure jump shot the day off so it's going to be a nice a better video for the next one i think a few more a few more clips and that a few more bits to film and then i'm going to head inside because i am getting hungry and i'll catch you what the next one so if you enjoy this give it a like subscribe to notifications all that jazz then yeah, see you next video. Peace.